class we will study about quantum numbers. What are quantum numbers? The numbers which designate and distinguish various atomic orbitals and electrons present in an atom are called quantum numbers. There are four quantum numbers. Four quantum numbers. One principal quantum number. Azimuthal quantum number L magnetic quantum number M and spin quantum number S Now we will discuss about these four quantum numbers Now Principal quantum number. Principal quantum number is represented by M. From Bohr's theory, it is already known that electrons are moving around the nucleus. And these are the orbits having definite amount of energy. And these orbits are designated as K, L, M, N cells. Or 1, 2, 3, 4 numbers. And this number is known as principal quantum number that is represented by A. So, for K cell A equals to 1, for L cell A equals to 2, for M cell A equals to 3, for N cell A equals to 4. So, principal quantum number determines the cell in which an electron lies. And there is a formula 2N square. From this formula, we can determine the number of electrons which can be present in a cell. So, for K cell, N equals to 1, 2N square equals to 2. So, in the K cell, maximum 2 electrons can be present. For L cell, N equals to 2, 2N square equals to 8. So, in the L cell, maximum 8 electrons can be present. In this way, in the M cell, maximum 18 electrons can be present. In M cell, maximum 32 electrons can be pre present. But, there are few limitations of this 2 L square formula. Number 1, maximum 32 electrons can be present in a cell. Number 2, maximum 8 electrons can be present in outermost cell. Number 3, maximum 18 electrons can be present in penultimate cell. Now, azimuthal quantum number. It is represented by A. And it is also known as subsidiary or secondary quantum number. Value of azimuthal quantum number or A depends on principal quantum number A. So, the value of A is 0 to n minus 1. If n equals to 1, l equals to 0. If n equals to 2, l equals to 0 and n minus 1, 1. 0 to n minus 1. n equals to 3, l equals to 0, 1, 2. For n equals to 4, l equals to 0, 1, 2, 3. For A equals to 0, it is A subset, 1 P subset. For A equals to 2, D subset. And for A equals to 3, A subset. Now, these values of A, that is azimuthal quantum number, determines the subsets in which electron lies. And also, A signifies the number of subsets. For K cell, value of A is 1. Value of L is 0 and subsets for L equals to 0 is and number of subsets in a cell is 1 that is only one subset is present in K cell for L cell N equals to 2 L equals to 0 and 1 and subsets for 0 is and for 1 P so number of subsets present in this L cell is 2 that is 1 A subset and 1 is P subset. For N cell, N equals to 3. Value of L, 0, 1, 2. Subsets for 0, S. For 1, P. For 2, D. 
and number of subcells present in M cell one, two, three. That is three. For N cell, value of N four. Value of N zero, one, two, three. And S, P, D, and for N equals to three, F subcell. So number of subcells S, P, D, F four subcells in this N cell. In this way, from principal quantum number and azimuthal quantum number, we can determine that subcell and number of subcells present in a cell. So, for K cell, A equals to one, L equals to zero, and L equals to zero means it is a subcell. And for K cell, this S subcell is represented by one S. For L cell, A equals to two and L equals to zero one. For zero value S subcell, for one value P subcell. And for L cell, when A equals to two, these subcells will be represented by two S and two P. And from azimuthal quantum number. The orbital angular momentum of electron can be calculated. Orbital angular momentum of electron is L equals to h by 2 pi into root L into L plus 1, where L is azimuthal quantum number. Now, spin quantum number. Spin quantum number is represented 
by s or n this quantum number accounts for spin of electron the electron in an atom not only revolves around the nucleus but also rotates around its own axis and the rotation of electron around its own axis is called spin there are two possibilities for spin one is clockwise and another is anti clockwise so spin quantum number can have two values that is plus half and minus half and these values can be represented by these arrows one is for plus half value and another is for minus half value now pauli's exclusion principle according to this principle two electrons in an atom can never have identical sets of identical sets of four quantum numbers that means each electron in an atom possesses an unique set of four quantum numbers in other way two electrons in an atom can have identical values of maximum three quantum numbers but the fourth one is always different and from this principle it can be concluded that maximum two electrons can be accommodated in an orbital and they must have opposite spin so for ksl n equals to 1 for n equals to 1 a equals to 0 and for n equals to 0 a equals to 0 for a equals to 0 this is a subset and for s subset there are only one value of a so only one orbital is present in the s subset and this is the orbital where maximum two electrons can be accommodated in an orbital so here maximum two electrons can be accommodated and they must have opposite spin so these two electrons can be accommodated in the s orbital and for n equals to 1 this is 1s orbital and in the 1s orbital maximum two electrons can be accommodated so for l cell n equals to 2 a equals to 0 and 1 for 0 value s subset for 1 value t subset and n equals to 2 so here 2s and 2p n equals to 0 And for one minus one zero plus one. For this zero value, only one orbital is present. So for two s subset, one orbital is present. And for two p subset, three orbitals are present. Two p x, two p y, and two p z. And in two s orbital, maximum two electrons can be accommodated. And each orbital contains two electron maximum two electrons so in the p orbital or in these two p orbitals maximum six electrons can be accommodated so in l cell maximum two plus six eight electrons can be accommodated in s orbital maximum two electrons can be accommodated in the p orbital maximum 6 electrons can be accommodated in the same way in d orbital maximum 10 electrons can be accommodated because there are five d orbitals so in each orbital two electrons can be accommodated so total 10 electrons can be accommodated and in f orbital 14 electrons can be accommodated now Hund's rule of maximum multiplicity. According to this rule, while filling different orbitals of a subset, the electrons prefer to remain unpaired as far as possible and possess the same direction of spin. Pairing of electrons takes place only when all the orbitals of a subset are singly occupied. For example, maximum six electrons can be present in p orbital. When two electrons are present, then the accommodation of the electrons will be in this way. This is for two electrons in p orbital. For three electrons, the filling of orbitals will be in this way. because according to hund's rule 
while filling different orbitals of a subset, the electrons prefer to remain unpaired as far as possible. So, here all electrons will be unpaired and they have same direction of spin. But when four electrons are present, then the accommodation of electrons will be in this way. First, these three electrons are present in this orbital having same direction of spin and they are unpaired. And the fourth one will enter here having opposite spin and pairing will occur. According to Moore's rule, pairing of electrons takes place only when all the orbitals of a subcell are singly occupied. For P3, all orbitals are singly occupied. That's why for P4, the fourth electron will come here and pairing will occur. For P5, the filling of orbitals will be in this way. First three electrons are singly occupied, then fourth one will come here, fifth one will come here. And these two electrons in an orbital will have different spin, that is opposite spin. And for six electrons in P orbital, the arrangement of electrons will be first three are singly occupied and in same direction of spin and then pairing will occur and the electrons will enter these orbitals opposite spin of the previous one. Next topic is Aufbau principle. According to this principle, in the ground state of an atom, the electrons enter into the available orbitals in the increasing order of energies and fill up the orbitals of lower energy first. That means, first electron will occupy the orbitals having lower energy and then it will fill in the higher energy orbitals. The energy order is this. First electrons will come in 1s orbital. Then it will come in 2s. Then 2p. Then 3s. Then 3p. Then electron will fill in 4s orbital. And then 3d, 4p, 5s. In this way, filling of orbitals will occur. Here, one important rule is n plus l. A subcell having lower value of n plus l possesses lower energy and is filled first. From this energy order, 4s has lower energy as compared to 3d. This can be explained by n plus l rule. For 4s, n equals to 4 and l equals to 0. So, n plus l equals to 4 plus 0 equals to 4. And for 3d, n equals to 3 and l equals to 2. So, n plus l equals to 3 plus 2 equals to 5. So, for 3d, the value of n plus l is high. That means, 3d possesses higher energy as compared to 4s. And when n plus l value is same for two orbitals, then the lower value of L possess lower energy. That means when 2p and 3s. For 2p, L equals to 2 and L equals to 1. So, N plus L equals to 2 plus 1, 3. And for 3s, L equals to 3 and L equals to 0. N plus L equals to 3. So, N plus L value is same for 2p and 3s but the lower value of n, that means 2 is lower value. So, 2p orbital having lower energy as compared to 3s orbital. So, electrons will come fast in the 2p orbital and then 3s orbital.